The reconfiguration of Louisville's extreme skate park isn't technically a reinvention. Part of the park will give way to construction of a new bridge over the Ohio River. Skaters and cyclists and designers got together Tuesday night to put the final touches on the new design, to put the get in Spaghetti Junction. I am absolutely thrilled with the design. Uh, I think Zach uh, Wormhout has put something great together, and there's still details to be worked out, but it, it's magnificent. The vert bowl, the street course, the flow bowl, uh, how he was able to integrate it all together, I think is phenomenal. Diameter, definitely doable, but it's kind of like, you know, if it was like a 16-foot cradle or something, obviously it makes it a lot easier. 11-foot, it's really hard to transition out of 11-foot diameter pipe to something smaller cradle-wise at the end. When the current Extreme Park was built in 2002, it was ahead of its time. One of its driving forces was Louisville Mayor Dave Armstrong. The hotels downtown started filling up with parents and skaters and uh, coming from all over the world. So uh, we gained a reputation of no longer being a sleepy little southern town. We became an exciting, youthful, uh, extreme town. Oh, the, the input we got tonight was just for par with what we would have hoped for. Um, basically kind of community consensus with subtle tweaks to what we, the concept was. Park users who gathered seem to have warm heads back, in part because he has theirs. In Louisville, for the Courier-Journal, Tom O'Neill.